When Supriya and I started working together, we didn't have a clear idea of the working culture differences that we would come up with. Maybe we just thought that we'll start and it will go great. I had mainly worked with Indians in my IT career and also in my banking career. And uh, for a brief while in my IT company, I had worked with some American clients. So that was the only international experience that I had. So it was completely new to me and I did not have much uh, uh, multicultural experience when we started working together. Over the years, I have had quite a bit of experience in working and studying with people from outside Europe and I have also had many Asian students. But the difference between them and working with Suprio is that all those people have lived in Europe. So they were familiar with the European working culture. Here we are talking about the differences that we have found ourselves by working together. So we are not going into any deep theory. In this video, we are discussing three differences that we have found. And then in later videos, we will go more into depth. So talking about the differences in design between uh, Europeans and Indians, I think on our channel, we have already faced that with the design of our banner. So if you remember <laughs> what happened when we tried to design the banner and uh, like uh, you uh, told me about uh, the differences and we actually saw that uh, live, like while working together, that uh, it was totally different how Indians really want uh, something that's more colorful, that's more uh, loud. And the European tendency is to have something more laid back and having lesser colors and more uh, minimal design. Yes, especially the further north you go in Europe, there's the Scandinavian design that is sort of a, um, extra minimalist and often thought about that you take out everything that isn't absolutely necessary um, to, to show what you are going to want to show. And then in India, it, we clearly saw that that's the opposite, that you add more after there's already a lot in it, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, like when uh, we started off the banner design, so initially we had an Indian designer who actually did the banner and then uh, we were going with that for a short while and then we had a Finnish designer. So he actually changed it up and we found a totally different kind of a style. So initially I was yeah. not for that design and we had a lot of arguments. Do you remember? <laughs> about yes. That? <laughs> yes, we did. Yeah, because what he did, he made the, his original suggestion. I really loved it, and I thought it was so stylish. But you said it was terribly boring because it was sort of <laughs> beige in color. It only had two or three colors, and uh, so uh, yeah. And when then when we talked with him, then he added using the same design. He added several different colors, and we chose one of those. Yeah, that was that was how it went. So it ended up having uh, we ended up having a lot of discussions, as you remember, about that. So before yes. we could finalize what actually worked and what actually did not work. So it was also a quite interesting thing about how uh, design differences work uh, in uh, India and in Finland. When it's a question of design of anything, like like for this channel, and uh, it's a question of both India and uh, Northern Europe, so you have to have, have a compromise. You can't have a one or the other, really, unless it is only geared towards one of the countries. But like we have a global audience, so it needed to work for both. Yeah, and ultimately, I think both of us are happy with how it turned out. But uh, it uh, took a lot to get to that uh, final agreement. <laughs> That's true. Yes. <laughs> yes, it did. Yeah. I don't know how long we discussed both talking and chatting, writing about it, but I'm sure it was hours. Uh, definitely was many hours. Yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Yeah. <laughs> After this experience, I was talking with a Finnish business owner who has had quite a lot of work done in India. And it has been both IT work and design. And the same thing happened with them too. The IT work went well, uh, but with the design, the differences were just too big. What was thought in India to be already too boring and nothing left was still too loud for the finish. So what they actually decided that they would have to do the design work in Europe and they continued then do the IT work with the Indian workers. 
working hours in India can be quite long. So, for example, in most companies, you are uh, supposed to work for nine hours, 10 hours, and sometimes even more than that. So uh, we don't always spend time working, but there's also chit chat and you go out, you eat something and then you come back to your office. So things work like that. Uh, there's a quite different kind of experience of working out here. So I was very shocked when I started working with a European and I uh, found out that, for example, in Finland, uh, you only have uh, the maximum working hours of 37 hours per week so that's the maximum working hours beyond that if you are working then you have to be paid over time now those kinds of things are obviously don't exist over here and i was very used to working 70 hour weeks 80 hour weeks even 100 hour weeks most of my life i have worked like that and so that was uh, the kind of thing that i had in my mind and uh, that caused a lot of conflicts and we were clashing all the time about who should be doing what and at what kind of uh, what point of time so these kinds of things happened and uh, it was actually quite interesting to navigate all of those things yes on the first number of videos we worked i suppose about 14 hours a day and with very little breaks to get them done. And for me, that meant that I continued several hours after I was already exhausted. Although I have been self-employed for many years now, so I'm used to longer working hours than employees would. But still, that was very much. In Finland, we don't have long working days, but we are very effective and normally fast. But also, in working on the videos, both of us did work in an efficient manner and fast. So it wasn't that we would have wasted time either. In Finland, the thinking often is that if you can't finish a project within a reasonable amount of time, it means that it's been planned badly because right from the start, you need to allocate enough time for it. An extra difficulty on our channel, of course, is the three and a half hour time difference. So we also need to navigate that. It's a good thing that we have given ourselves a deadline to publish every Friday afternoon. That way we have to be organized because there really isn't a limit to how long you could continue editing a video. In Finland, there's very little hierarchy in work life. Um, bosses and workers um, often work things out together and everybody takes a lot of responsibility for their own work. Yeah, that is very different from how it happens in India. And uh, I was used to a, a very forceful kind of a, a task allocation or a work allocation thing. So uh, that's what I brought to our work as well. And uh, then I would say to you, uh, do this, finish this and uh, get this done. So these were the words that I used and uh, you can say about how that made you feel. And initially I was really surprised like <laughs> when that happened. And Yes, that was really the biggest conflict. And I think that happened on our second video. We were rushed and uh, you sent me, I think, two messages very shortly after one another with actually written now numbers, one, two, three, and four, and, what, and do these and do them quickly. <laughs> and <laughs> nobody had ever, ever written anything like that to me before. So I was quite shocked. And uh, actually, I think you noticed that. I mean, I, we were in chat without videos. I actually left, uh, left the chat and I sort of walked around my home, you know, wondering how am I going to manage with that? I mean, I can't <laughs> work like this, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I was surprised, like, what happened? Like, I, I didn't mean to hurt or anything because that's how you used to get yeah. work done in our offices. Yes. So we would be giving tasks to each one and we'll say, you know, get this done. This is number one priority. This is two, this is three, this is four. But that's not yeah. how it happens in Finland, actually. So it's quite different, Very, isn't it? Yeah, very rarely. Uh, normally, if some, that, it depends, of course, on your type of work, but in the jobs that I have been basically in teaching and, uh, and media, uh, that, that doesn't really happen in that, that kind of way. And that's why for me, it was sort of a fight with my inside myself. I was sort of starting to think that this isn't going to work at all. And I wonder what I have to do. But then I realized that if we are going to resolve this, I have to tell you how I feel. And yeah. I had no idea why, you know, you would have said that, you know, and done that. So, uh, yeah, so it was very good that I did tell you, but you were shocked at first. I think. Yeah, <laughs> I was I was very shocked. Like I, I didn't understand why this was happening because I was so used to it. I was so used to working like that. And uh, that's why it, it actually opened my eyes to 
what the cultural shock was and what the difference actually can amount to. So it's quite interesting that uh, the most mm -hmm. important cornerstone of any kind of uh, workplace coordination that has to be proper communication and respect for each other. Yeah. So that's yes. what we had and uh, <laughs> that's how we worked it out. And I think now we can say that we work pretty well together. <laughs> so. Yes. Yes, we haven't had anything similar since. <clears throat> and that made me also understand um, much more about the Indian work life. That, And it seems to me uh, to be like harsh. I would find it very hard to add up to that, that type probably. And uh, But I can also in, uh, in this here, in these particular situations, especially because we want to uh, publish a video every week at the same time, um, we are <laughs> often rushed. And... Um, I can see that in that kind of situations, it's actually good to do it that way. I mean, um, you saw exactly what needed to be done. You were doing the editing and I was sort of like a helper at that situation. So it was a good way to do it after I after I sort of was able to accept that that the way that it can be done that way. Yeah. 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 That was eye opening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Working with somebody totally uh, different from me, it has been an eye-opening experience. We faced a lot of challenges, but at the end of the day, we have made it work and uh, we are still dealing with lots of issues, but I'm hopeful that if we keep the communication open and we respect each other, then we can make it work. And it all boils down to that. If you have a broader vision that you are going towards and each of you respect each other, then I'm sure that uh, any two people can work together and that's what we are doing out here. I'm not sure that I would agree that any two people would work together. I can think of quite a number of people in my own city that I would not like to work with. But after you decide to work together, I agree, open communication is the key to make it work. Getting to know some of the Indian work culture has been and continues to be an adventure. An adventure is something that I love to have in my life. If you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button and share it with your friends. And subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you won't miss our next videos.